Hey YouTube, what's up? Today we have another disassembly tutorial, and I have a little cam on my head today to do this one instead of sitting in the front of a desk and doing it. Make it a little easier. But um, I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble. It is just the Rubik's brand 4x4. I also plan in my next video to show how to solve this, so subscribe for that. And um, but to disassemble this, it's pretty much the same as the 3x3. For this, you twist the layer. And then pop out an edge. That's pretty much, that's essentially what you do with the 4x4. Four four. You twist the layer, take one edge out, take another edge out, take the corners out, just go around and do this with the entire layer. And then you can start to take the center pieces out, as you can see, there's a little gap right here in the core, and you can use that to just get the centers out through that hole. There you go, that's the first layer, and I also recommend um, separating at least the centers, and the rest of it just comes off like this, you just start twisting it. Just like that, and then I might have to take the um, center pieces off free handed. And there we go. So, this is the core. This is what the core looks like. Let me turn this off. Come on. This, so, basically, this is called the ball core, as you can obviously tell. Um, but, as you can see, it's got like these little tracks on it so the pieces can move. Very nice mechanism. Now, I recommend separating the pieces. I'm going to go ahead and separate as best as I can. I'm going to get all these center pieces over here. Uh, let's see. Some center pieces, centers. Uh, what are these? Let's get the core there. Some corner pieces. Uh, you do not have to do the separating. It is Definitely recommended though, it makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> More edges. Center. Edge, corner. Edges. Corner, edge. Edges. Corner, edge. So I have all the pieces um, separated, and these are what they all look like. Here's the center piece, as you can, you can clearly tell it's the center since it only has one color on it. <clears throat> um, you know, you got these little hooks on it, and that's how they hook on to the core, like so. Um, here are the edge pieces. Very simple looking mechanism, or design, I should say. And then, that is an edge, I don't know, that's also an edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, alright. These are the corners. Now we got a nice little triangle piece on it. So now let's get to a little or the reassembly. First thing we're going to do is pick a color to put at the bottom to start with. And I'm just going to pick white. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out the white centers. And there will be four of each center. Might as well go ahead and flip these all over too so I can see which color is which. Which center is which? It's the third. It's the fourth. And there we go, there's all those. Now, to get the center pieces in, as I said earlier, there's this little gap in the core here. As you can see, it's a little curve piece, which um, basically allows room for these pieces to just put, be put right in. So, go ahead and... Um, Put the pieces in, assemble them in a square. Very, very easy to do that. You might have to go put a like up here and then slide it down to fit it in because you'll run out of space to just put it in right there. So I put it up here and I slide it down. And I'm just gonna put this entire face entire thing face down. Now I'm gonna start picking out some of the white edges. Move this stuff. So I'll just pick out two of the same colored white edges. So here's a white and green edge. It's a white and orange. White and red. 
Wayne Orange will, alright, we got the two Wayne Orange edges right here. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to take it so the white is facing down. And we're going to pair them together to look like this. So it makes a nice shape right here. Just like that. Now you're going to make the white face down. And you're going to put it, I can angle this right there. You see, I just take this and I put it right there on the centerpiece. We have it face down just so it can stay because it doesn't just hook on. You kind of got to keep it steady for now. And there you go. Now, um, let's get the white corners on it. White and orange corners. Use the first one, put the white face down, and it just goes right on there. Very simple. Uh, let's see, here we go, the other one. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this entire thing so I can do the next color. And right here is blue, so we're going to do blue as our next color. Uh, here's a, we need the blue and white, actually, it's the first one. Here's the second one. So we pair them together, make the white face down, and then they go on there, just like that. And as you can see, it's kind of forming a circle around here. You might not be able to see that, but it is forming a circle, so that's good, that's progress. Let me fix it. Um, so now our next step, corner, blue and white corner, put it there. Turn the cube, turn everything, make sure nothing falls apart. And this color is red, so the white and red edges. Get them right in there. Get the white and red edge. There we go. Turn this entire thing. So now our last color is green, so we get the last of the white edges. Got to find the last white and green edge, which is right here. Once again, they just slide right in. Just the camera on me a little. Um. So now our next step is to get and the camera's being all funky on me. Is to build the centers that are around here. So I'll do the green center since it's right here. Pick out all the green center pieces and fit them in and like I mentioned before you might have to put them up here and then slide it down which also might be a pain centers can be a real pain so don't stress it if stuff if things start to go wrong there we go there's two there's three is four. There we go. I'm going to turn the cube and then put this center in, which is orange, so I'll pick out all these orange centers. And do the same thing. We get these on. Very, very easy. Uh, let's just see. Four. There we go. Now, once we get two centers on, we're gonna film the edges that go in this gap here. In this case, it's the green and orange edges. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and find both of those. So one. Here's two. So now you gotta make sure the way you put these edges is if you notice on the edge. There's one side that has a little notch here, and one side that doesn't. The side that has the notch for the first edge, the side that has the notch, the notch will have to be down. So if the notch is down and the colors don't match, use the other edge. And put the notch down, and you can easily just fit the edge right in between there. Snaps right into place, and put the other edge in there. And, this, and when you put in the second edge, the notch faces up. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put on this center, which is the blue center. I'll get out these blue pieces. See the other one that says it? Yep. And Come on. Two. 
to might have to go to the side and swing it over as well this can be a real pain in some cases there you go I'm gonna put the edges that go here so in this case it's orange and blue edges here's one here's two they're both right here for me put the match down colors don't match so do the other one match down here we go snap it in snap it in there now we're gonna put for the last center we're gonna do it a little bit differently we're gonna put in oh, I just dropped a piece we're gonna put in the first two pieces Oh, come on, you bitch. Let's do this. Bam. Bam. Now, for these edges, we're going to put in these two edges first before we put in the rest of the centers. So, this is blue and red, and this is green and red. So, I'll take out the both green and red edges, and... If I can find them, the blue and red, which are right here. So not facing down, and this these colors match perfect, just like that. Not facing down, colors match perfect. Here we go. Now put now oh, my computer's going to sleep. Now put the last two centers in there. Come on. In this case, I'm gonna have to do this because it's just being a, it's just being a little bitch. Right. Spin it over. You really have to be creative sometimes when it comes to putting in these center pieces. But you'll get them. There we go. Now put these last two in. Nash goes up. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now you got the first three layers. Now the last layer. I'm going to take the centers. And we're going to just make sure they get in. One. Two. Three. Four. And you're going to have to fit them together. Get them into a nice neat square, which can be really hard. Sinners can be really hard to work with. So put these in, and then we're going to just kind of hold them together with our fingers right now and put these edges in. Which in this case are the red and yellow edges. you got to find them both. It's the first one. Now in this case, the notch for the left edge, the notch faces the left. Get that in. And then for the right edge, the notch faces the right. So you have to make sure those are oriented correctly. Then I'm going to go to the opposite of the center and do these colors which is orange this orange just kind of snap them in for now there we go now we got that the center is nice and stable for us to work with now we're going to finish up finish them off easily get the corners make sure the corners match yeah, like that turn the layer to snap the edges in, notch goes to the right for the right edge, notch goes to the left for the left edge. Then, the last corners, and the last edges. So, there you go. That is how to, um, yeah, layers don't like the turner. So that is how to disassemble and reassemble the Rubik's 4x4. It is uh, a little hard to do at first, especially with the centers, but um, you'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. So, I guess that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next video. In that next video, we'll probably be learning how to solve this bad boy. 
So, thanks for watching.